Mr. Anderson sat down in his rocking chair and began to rock. As he rocked, the chair creaked. this chair up, said Mr. Anderson. It's been sounding just like this for months. Eh, eh, eh. Some of the children at Ann's party had a second helping of cake. Did Ann get any presents, asked the cowboy, after he finished his piece of cake. She got a caboose for her train, said Mr. Anderson. My train has a steam engine, said Anne. Come see it run. All the children followed her. When she got the train started, it chugged along, making puffs of steam. At the birthday party, all the children watched Anne's steam engine go. To make it run, Anne's mother lit a wick under the tiny boiler. Then she blew out the match. She blew it out very carefully. Millie and the cowboy realized that it was getting late. Four o'clock already, said Millie. Well, anyway, it's time for us to figure out what that nut means, said the cowboy. We've got to find that treasure. Let's see, said Millie. That was a walnut. What other kinds of nuts are there? What about peanuts, said the cowboy. Well, you can always buy peanuts at the zoo, said Mr. Anderson. The last time we went to the zoo, we fed peanuts to a mother bear and her two cubs. Whenever she wanted the cubs to follow her, she grunted like this. It's worth a try, said the cowboy. But how can we get to the zoo? We're taking Ann there for a birthday treat, said Mr. Anderson. Would you and Millie like to come with us? Oh, yes, they said together. But first, said Mr. Anderson, I've got to help the carpenter finish a little job in the garage. Then Mrs. Anderson and I are going to have a cup of coffee. Already they could smell the coffee, which was just beginning to perk on the kitchen stove. They could hear it, too. As the coffee boiled, the pot made the little sound. <laughs>